Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this question and I thought I'll probably make a video on this and uh, also show you how to do it. So the question is how can I collect uh, tickets from different uh, boards? And uh, I'll summarize the question for you although it's not really a lengthy question. So what uh, this user is trying to do? I guess uh, what uh, what happened? He created a project and uh, in that particular project uh, it was probably you know a scrum based project where uh, there was a scrum board and in jira when you create a board or a project let us say a scrum based project uh, you have this board which is configured to use just one project so basically the question is the main question is that if you have a board with uh, one project as source and later on if you have let us say multiple projects and maybe you have multiple teams working across those projects how can you have one board showing issues from different uh, uh, sources let us say different projects now this is of course a very simple thing that we can do in uh, in jira and i'll probably show you how to do it so in my case i have this uh, board called android for my android project because this is one uh, project that i always use for uh, testing purpose so this is of course uh, uh something that i can always modify if i have to maybe include one more project so for for doing this i need to go to the board settings and uh, what i need to do is i need to actually click on this uh, filter called uh, uh save filter and right now if you notice the filter is project is equal to an order by rank asc which is ascending order so if i want to maybe include more you know you know more more than one project i can do that and this is of course one way of doing it and i i guess i'll probably do it right now but you can always create your own board using your own filter if if that is something that uh you want to do because it will give you more control so maybe instead of doing this uh, project is equal to uh, an you can do something like project is equal to an and then comma maybe you know b bug tracking maybe one more why not clone high us and uh, let us press enter just to see if just just to see if uh, we do have do we have like more more issues and save it and uh, i guess that is it so if you go back to your board uh, you should be able to where is my board yeah android board you should be able to now see projects or bring in projects from or issues from multiple sources and this filter can be of course based on projects or it can be based on subset of one or multiple project maybe you just want to maybe you don't really want it to manage your bugs or anything else so this can be done quite easily so this is of course the most simplest way of doing it but what you can also do is while you're creating a new board if you go to your uh, boards you also have the option to select or choose multiple projects so when you create a new project you can actually click on this create a scrum board and you can select from board from existing project and if you click on and by the way you can also select here filter i mean filter will be anyways created for you so if you do this you can actually you know let us say multiple projects board and uh, you can then select here uh, you know whatever project i mean right now i'm selecting this service desk project service management project but yeah i mean you get the idea so if you click on the create board it will actually create a filter for you and that filter will be used uh, as the source which you can always uh, modify and uh, it is of course quite obvious that you need to be the board owner <laughs> for uh, i mean you, you should be listed here as the board administrator for doing these things and you can notice here that this particular uh, this particular board is uh, now listed or basically this particular board has uh the source which is based on this filter and this filter is nothing but those multiple projects that you uh, just selected if you look at the jql you will uh, notice the same thing and that is it that is all i wanted to talk about and show you in this project in this not project in this it is a project but it is 
a video but uh, uh, this is, is uh, quite simple quite obvious but uh, if you don't know if you have never done this before i thought i'll probably show you and that is it that is all i wanted to talk, to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye